is new evidence this morning the Obama administration had plenty of warning about healthcare.gov. The consultant's report pinpointed flaws in the health insurance website six months before it went online. Major Garrett is at the White House. Major, good morning. Well, good morning, Nora and Charlie. As new documents released by congressional investigators show that the White House and the Department of Health and Human Services were warned as early as April that the main federal health care website, healthcare.gov, was in serious trouble and possibly headed for a disastrous October 1st launch. Now, these congressional investigators found a report produced by an outside consulting group in late March and reviewed by top officials in April. It raised three potential problems. Too much dependency with too many outside contractors, not enough time to fully test the federal health care website, and a lack of communication between the federal government and those contractors. Now these flaws, again first flagged in April, crippled the website's launch in October and left hundreds of thousands of potential consumers on the sideline. That is, of course, why the administration fell 80 percent short of its projections for enrollment in Obamacare's first month, the month of October. All this has taken a toll on President Obama's approval rating. The latest poll out this morning in the Washington Post has the president's approval rating at 42 percent, but 55 percent of that survey say they disapprove of the president's performance. Now, the administration contends that the website, healthcare.gov, is getting better and that consumers are finding a more efficient and timely experience on that website. Even so, the administration concedes, Nora and Charlie, one in five Americans will not be able to sign up for Obamacare using the website. They'll have to do so in person, on, on the phone, or by mail. Nora and Charlie. Thank you.